Okay, everybody, Luke Gordon here. Uh, welcome back to the second video in this series that's all about lymphedema and chronic swelling. So if you didn't catch the first video or the first blog post in this series, go ahead and check that one out first. Uh, in that, we covered this beautiful drawing of mine here uh, that explains basically the role of the heart and the, the veins and the arteries and then your lymphatic system and how they're related to each other. So I'll kind of mention it a little bit as we go along today, but we're primarily going to talk about the top causes of chronic swelling and lymphedema and how to kind of differentiate which is which. So um, I may have mentioned that in the first video that they're not cr quite the same thing when you talk about lymphedema versus chronic swelling, um, but they, they definitely go hand in hand and lymphedema can cause chronic swelling. So it gets a little bit confusing, especially if you're trying to figure it out on your own. And it'll probably be even more confusing after today's video because I'm gonna share my laundry list of, um, of top causes for you. What I will say though, before we dive in and get, again, maybe a little bit complex for some people, is that it's really important that if you are dealing with lymphedema and chronic swelling and you're looking to get on top of it and treat it and get rid of all that fluid, that you're working with someone who really knows what they're doing and who has specialized training in lymphedema. Um, that being said, I am not one of those people. I just work with two of them and I've been picking their brains about uh, sharing this content. And then anyone that comes to our clinic, I'm just steering them to those two, uh, to those two physical therapists who have had that specialized training. So like I said, uh, this isn't the video where we're gonna talk about treatment, that's the next video. That'll be the third post in this series. Um, but I want to share the information with you just to give you an idea of it. But then again, keep in mind that it is confusing to figure out on your own and certainly even more difficult to treat on your own. But again, knowledge is good for most people, help you understand the situation that you're in and help you figure out if there's something that can be done to help with it. So that's what we're going to cover today is those top causes. So again, I've got my laundry list here, um, and I'll use I'll refer to the picture a little bit here as we go. So the really one of the most common causes, of course, that you're going to see in today's day and age, where unfortunately cancer is really prevalent, is you're going to see cancer surgeries causing lymphedema and swelling. So it makes sense if you were, um, if you go back to you know what is one of the main functions of the lymphatic system is that this excess fluid is being picked up by the, the green vessels here on the picture, and it's being returned into your bloodstream after it's been cleaned and it's been exposed to your, um, to your immune system and things like that. So with most um, like breast cancers, let's say, or other cancer uh, surgeries, they're gonna remove a portion of your lymph nodes. So that should make sense that if they remove part of your lymph nodes, that's gonna impact the ability of the lymph fluid to move through those vessels and ultimately return back into your bloodstream. Um, where it can go back and you know kind of be recirculated. So that's gonna cause a blockage or um, a buildup of that fluid. So very common to see folks with chronic swelling and lymphedema, especially after breast cancer, they'll have a lot of swelling into their arms. So that's the cancer surgery. The second one on the list then is also radiation associated with cancer. Um, I've talked to our two lymphedema therapists and uh, oftentimes they say the radiation is actually what's worse than the removal of the lymph nodes. Because with radiation where they're burning certain parts of the tissue, it causes a lot of scar tissue buildup and that scar tissue is going to put pressure on your lymphatic system, which is a very, very like no pressure system. So it's, gonna, it's going to in, um, impede the flow of that fluid. So cancer surgeries and then radiation are two of the biggest ones we see here in the clinic. Um, Cancer just in and of itself can also cause swelling. So it's one of those things where if you have unexplained swelling and things like that, you definitely wanna get that checked out because if you have a malignant growth or just a, um, a benign growth, it could be putting pressure uh, around the lymph nodes or around the lymph vessels. So that's its own kind of standalone cause as well. So we got those three. Trauma can, uh, can definitely cause prolonged swelling and lymphedema. Um, I think that makes sense to most of us why trauma would initially cause it. You know, you get hit real hard or you're in a, in a car accident or something like that. You're going to get swelling as part of the inflammatory response. And then what can happen longer term is that if the system isn't uh, functioning properly or if it's just too overloaded with swelling, it'll tend to stay. And so that's why you need someone to help you clear it out. So trauma can be one of those causes. Surgeries, this is another common one that we see in the PT clinic. When you've got uh, like a major surgery, like an orthopedic surgery, so ankles, knees, hips, you know, uh, total knee replacements, traumatic ankle fractures, things like that, those can cause, again, that increased swelling, and then ultimately that can lead to more like chronic swelling and lymphedema, depending on where that fluid gets stuck in the system. So those are more like a major surgery that we would see. Even minor surgery uh, or abdominal surgeries are very common because a lot of your lymphatic fluid is going through your abdominal region, and if there's obstructions there or there's just backup there, then that's going to cause potentially the chronic swelling and lymphedema. 
So keep those surgeries in mind too. If you had a surgery and now all of a sudden you've got all this swelling you didn't have before, that could be the cause and then you just need someone to help you clear it. Surgeries, um, infection is another one that you want to kind of just have on your radar and hopefully you're able to cross off your list at some point because infections can definitely be associated with increased swelling. And definitely if you have a, an infection and it's overloading your lymphatic system um, because there's the extra fluid and it's trying to work with your immune system, then you definitely want to be aware of that as a potential underlying cause. So there's infections. Um, CVI, chronic venous insufficiency. Uh, I'm not going to go into extreme depth on what that means, but essentially if you refer back to the video or the picture here, um, if your veins, so venous insufficiency, meaning that your veins aren't able to uh, handle as much blood as they can, then it's going to backflow into your lymphatic system. So again, go back to the picture here. You've got the blood going from your heart through your arteries into your tissue, and then the majority of that blood is just picked up from your veins and goes back to your heart whereas the lymphatic system is picking up a portion of the blood fluid, the plasma that, that leaks out into the lymphatic system. So basically, if the majority of your blood is supposed to go through your veins back to your heart, if that whole side of the equation isn't working properly and it's kind of backflowing, more and more fluid will be pushing, putting pressure into the lymphatic system. So that can cause lymphedema. So you might have swelling associated with the venous insufficiency, and then it might be overloading your lymphatic system too. Again, probably too complex for the average person, but that's the type of thing that your lymphatic trained lymphedema specialist therapists are looking at. They're looking at how much of this stuff is caused by the venous problem and how much of it is caused by the lymphatic system. And more, th more often than not, they're working on both systems at the same time. They're clearing them both just because they're so interrelated. So if you've heard of that term, chronic venous insufficiency, or sometimes they call it venous insufficiency, um, that can definitely be associated with chronic swelling and or lymphedema, depending on if it's putting enough back pressure on your lymphatic system. Uh, and the last one on my laundry list for causes of lymphedema and swelling is just obesity. So this one kind of makes sense logically. If you're carrying a lot of extra body tissue, it's going to put extra pressure on your lymphatic system, so on the nodes and on your um, lymphatic ducts and things, or excuse me, vessels. So that can also be a cause of lymphedema and swelling. So there you go. That's video number two. And like I said, hopefully it might be a little bit confusing, but um, I want to drive home that final point again, is that when you're working with someone, they really do need specialized training and specialized knowledge on these topics because there are a lot of factors that can contribute. One thing that we didn't even talk about really is the um, if you have a cardiac or a heart issue, that can also be a cause too. So you look at like congestive heart failure and things like that um, as being a potential issue because if your heart isn't able to process all this blood, then you've got, you've got another issue you have to consider. So again, you definitely want to work with someone who really knows what they're doing when it comes to chronic swelling and lymphedema. And certainly if you have any other questions, um, just reach out to me, send me an email, or you can visit the website where we've got some more information on there. So uh, again, thanks for watching. This is video number two. I'm going to make video number three and post that in about a week or so. And we're going to talk more about the treatment options for lymphedema and swelling. So that's it for now. Again, thank you for watching. Bye.